What's going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here. We are uh, trying to give you some status updates on what's going on with my channel here since that false ID claim takedown thing. Um, I've been trying to figure it out. I've been trying to make a million emails trying to figure it out. Um, and I've got some resolve, but I don't really know how I got it done other than I've made a ton of emails and sent out and, and went through what this is, their YouTube help stuff for appealing strikes and restrictions. And there's a lot of issues involved in this too. Uh, I'll try to kind of go through it a little bit here. If, if you really want to listen to it, feel free to listen to it. But um, in terms of things on the channel, um, i got some people that have been very vocal on, on, on me speaking out, and it's really interesting. But uh, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Obviously, on some of the videos, people don't like my opinion. Um, but I still have the copyright strike, uh, but it's not just a strike anymore. It's actually just, just a takedown. So now it's not a strike, it's just a takedown. And today they changed uh, the channel features look here in case nobody's that does this stuff has had a chance to go look under this now it's under status and features which is slightly different than what it was it's been changed and uh, they added this how they adjust for penalties for creators have been changed as of today as well it's kind of a weird thing so as you can see it says I have zero copyright strikes right now they've taken that other video and instead of being a takedown and a strike it is just a takedown so it's been taken down by UMG. That doesn't change. Um, we come back over here. Copyright notices. This hasn't changed at all. It's been taken down. Um, this copyright strike has it says received, but it's not there anymore. I guess they changed that. So now it's just a takedown. I still don't know what it is. I have no way to actually request a retraction or submit a counter notification because I don't know what the video was. I don't know why it was deleted. And I really don't know how UMG can go ahead and submit a claim on behalf of somebody else. Uh, when I go and I check out AM Octone Records and I look at all their artists, none of those artists are any type of music or audio that I've ever used ever in any of my videos everything I use comes from pretty much two sources that I have full access to uh, and all that stuff is always inside of all my video descriptions and when I've had problems in the past I usually have to go through uh, ad rev to get things cleared up and they clear things up for me pretty quickly uh, some occasions they haven't but generally they always clear up the issues real quick so that's never been an issue or a problem in that regards um, but this still concerns me this claim thing that one company is doing it on behalf of another company and I have no control so the problem is I can't get rid of this I have to wait for it to just disappear after at least three months uh, because I can't submit these two and you'll see when we go back over through here but even though it says copyright strike received it no longer shows on my account as a copyright strike so I don't I guess I should be happy about that or does it suddenly change again randomly for no reason I don't know but it's still showing video takedown obviously and that's what that is so but I come back over to channel uh, and as you can see, no copyright strikes. So it's allowing me to keep continuing on now, suddenly, um, through my partner network. And my guideline strikes seem to be okay as well. Uh, and so I suddenly have access to everything again, with the exception of a couple things that that's based off of who I'm partnered with that I don't have access to these items. Um, and that's a whole other issue in itself. You know the, the complications of leaving one network to be able to go to another network to be able to access 
extra things like fan funding, you know, which would be similar to like Patreon. Um, which I've tried Patreon before with you guys two times as a matter of fact and everybody got pissed off when I used to talk about it in videos and then and I only had support from like one or two people and you know again the ultimate goal of Patreon is to be able to get enough support from people so I could turn off all of this crap on YouTube and not have to deal with any of it because I would have support from everybody else who actually enjoys what I'm doing through Patreon and none of this would be an issue. I wouldn't have to have it monetized, I wouldn't have to sit with a network, I wouldn't have to do any of that stuff because it would all come directly from everybody else. But you know that's a whole another discussion in itself because that's complicated I guess. Um, but so I just kind of wanted to tell you guys I actually have access to everything suddenly again and it's really weird and I don't really know do I just continue doing what I was doing and not worry about that takedown that's there because it suddenly doesn't show as anything or you know where do I go from here uh, I mean I, obviously now I have to sit around and worry about other issues that could just happen for no random reason um, and eventually it could just kill my channel one day I could wake up and have no channel in which case the only way to survive from something like that it would be to go to a full Patreon and create a new channel, which is just a mess in itself. But, so I have this uh, here, and I ramble a lot. Um, and so I went ahead and I clicked on this new Learn More, which takes me over to this page on how to fix problems, talking about community guidelines, strikes, and copyright strikes, and content blocks, and all that crap. And like I said, one of the issues is I can't resolve the, the strike that I have because I have no idea what it is on the video and why it was taken down. And that is a huge problem. Sure, I could see the whole DMCA takedown because they've received some legal notification, which is basically just somebody pushing a button. Uh, and or the content ID system claiming something that doesn't actually necessarily uh, exist as a claim just because it was close enough to a match or something else. And you have no way of fixing it. That's the big, big problem here. I'm not a big enough channel. You need to have over 100,000 subscribers in order to be able to have access to a YouTube manager. So you don't get access to a live person until after you've reached 100,000 subscribers, basically. That's pretty much how it works. Everybody under 100,000 is pretty much screwed when it comes to this stuff. Um, if I receive a copyright strike or community strike, I still have access to most of my features. Obviously, now I have access to everything. You need to verify your account. My account is verified. Talks about you could lose your live streaming stuff, which I lost all that stuff through the day. If I get three strikes, my channel will be terminated. That's it. You have no control over it. If somebody just does whatever the hell they want to if somebody's trolling you and hit your channel three times your channel's immediately terminated without you having any say uh, as to why you're not it's a one-sided issue even all these new fancy pages they've got going on it's still a one-sided issue I can open up all these things um, copyright strike basics tells me all this information about it but I know all this stuff and there's no way for me to resolve any of this. How do I resolve a copyright strike? I can't retract. I can't counter notify. I have no access to any of that stuff because I don't know what the problem is. Because you just took the video down without ever contacting me or giving me any kind of notice about what it was that the issue is. Usually you get a copyright ID because somebody is randomly claiming that audio in your video matches audio. Uh, that they have and so now they're suddenly monetizing the stuff until you go ahead and deal with it and I've dealt with it a few times like I said the couple people that I the couple of music places that I deal with I have full access control uh, to and when something does come up I can quickly take care of that but when you do a full takedown you have no access to fix it uh, community strike basics on here still doesn't allow me to do anything no real way to appeal anything so it's all fancy words uh, and looks pretty cool 
but nothing really does anything. Resolving copyright strikes doesn't really do anything. Uh, you know, I don't... I, <laughs> I don't know where to go with this other than I guess I can continue making more videos now because I have access to all the features again. Uh, but I'm still a little concerned that one day I have nothing and the next day suddenly I have everything back again. And even though it just shows as a takedown and the copyright strike was there on the video it no longer exists on my account so I, I don't know um but i'm gonna go to sleep and i'll worry about maybe starting to make more content again uh here in a day so uh, i appreciate everybody who who made all those comments and you know uh, and whatnot on the strike takedown and, and all the support from everybody. I, I didn't give up. I was just very frustrated when I saw it happen. Um, and that's just a personal thing. Uh, I have, you know, personal problems where really I'm kind of just basically bipolar that my mood can change so quickly that it is what it is. And anyway i don't really want to get too far into my personal life with that because one nobody really cares and two nobody needs to know unless you actually know me that simple um so thanks for tuning in i guess i'll catch you guys soon